You may have seen uh, one of my earlier videos, I'll put a link to it in the description, where I do a S-Bus decoder that uh, displays the S-Bus on uh, a little OLED display and also outputs a CPPM signal. Um, so all the uh, all the channels on one pin. Um, but somebody asked for a, a PWM output to drive just individual servos. So that's what I've got here. So I'll show you all the channels moving. Three, four, I think that one's five. Let me see that. Five, six, seven. Just got a, a switch for eight. Now, that's only eight, but SBUS actually does. 18 channels altogether. It does 16 normal sort of analog channels plus another two digital on off channels and this uh, decoder does all of them. It does all 18. So it outputs um, all 18 channels starting on pin D2 and they just go in order. So D3, D4 up to D13 is channel 12 and then uh, channel 13 is on A, A0, channel 14 is on A1. Um, the last normal channel, which is channel 16, is on A3. And then you've got the two digital channels on uh, A4 and A5. So this is just an Arduino uh, Nano um, on a little carrier board. This board doesn't do anything other than bring the pins out into a, a sort of servo friendly form there's no there's no chips or anything on there uh, so you can use just a straight um, nano or a pro mini or one of those um, DIY more strong boards are good because they've got these uh, sort of um, ground VCC and signal pins laid out like this all on one board um, now I can't show you more than eight channels with this receiver because this receiver only outputs eight channels. If someone wants to see the full uh, um, 18 channels I could do it but I'll have to get a better receiver. Now if you've got a receiver that um, can give out inverted S-Bus, great, you just connect it straight up to the uh, RX zero pin on the um, Arduino but this this receiver can't output inverted SBUS so I'm using this uh, little uh, chap here to invert the signal that's just um, it's a 2N7000 uh, MOSFET and you connect the um, uh, you connect the gate of it to the uh, receiver pin outputting the S bus. You connect the source to ground and the drain pin goes to the uh, Arduino RX0 for the input. You can just use an NPN, um, virtually any NPN transistor would do as well, but then you'd have to put a, a, a resistor. In the where you want two resistors, really, you want to maybe a 10k going to the um, to the base from the uh, from the receiver, and you'd want perhaps another 10k uh, pull up resistor on the collector. Um, anyway, that's about it. I'll put the link to the sketch in the uh, in the description. Um, oh, I could say one more thing about it just thought the the way it outputs the pulses uh, to do all 18 it does them in three banks of six this is a bit technical but um, so each of those um, banks of six take up to six milliseconds to output uh, the six channels and they all work in parallel, so that's um, 12 seconds total. 
but that means that if the S bus signal is arriving faster than every 12 milliseconds, some S bus frames uh, get ignored, which is fine because standard servos you're not really, you know, the standard update rate for servos is only uh, every 20 milliseconds. So this particular receiver, this outputs a frame every 11 milliseconds and because that's slower than the 12 millisecond output rate for the servos, every other frame gets, gets missed and the servos only get updated uh, every 22 uh, milliseconds. But that's still, um, you know, that's still about 50 times a second. Um, and as you can see they're smooth enough and there's no jitter. Um, depending on your receiver, if you had a receiver that um, that went to anything more than uh, 12 millisecond frames then you wouldn't drop any frames at all. Uh, and the fastest you can possibly go with SBUS is every 3 milliseconds, that's how long a complete frame takes. Uh, although I've never seen a receiver that goes that fast. So that would drop uh, three frames out of four and update the servos once every 12 milliseconds. Anyway, that's all a bit technical. For ordinary servos, it's no problem. You just plug them in and they'll work. Uh, okay, thanks for watching.